Hi guys, welcome back to this new class. Today I want to show you how to create a cool salt and pepper set for your kitchen using Autodesk Fusion 360. The design world is full of creating inspiration for this particular set, so check out online to get inspired to create funny shapes or something more geometrical. For this project we are going to create simple curved shapes, so now let's get started together. Step 1. Creation of the first shape. Open your program and start a new project. We start creating a new sketch on the front plane. Using the line tool, draw a vertical line starting from the origin and set the length at 50 mm. This will be the height of our set. Use the spline tool now and start from the top vertex of the vertical line and create a curved shape with the ending point aligned with the origin, but not coincident. Then close the shape with an horizontal line. In this way, our shape will have a stable base. Make sure to set horizontal the handles of the top point of the spline to obtain a more continuous shape. Now select the vertical line and convert it in construction line using the sketch palette. Then select the spline and the base and create a negative 1.5 mm offset. Connect the offset with the first sketch using the line tool. You should obtain a closed space between, between the two sketches and you can check if it's closed, clicking into it and seeing if it highlights. Now select the revolve tool in the create section of the top menu. Set as axis the vertical one and as profile the sketch and if it's not already set by default, set 360 degrees for the rotation. Step 2. Creation of the second shape. Now that we have the first shape, we can obtain the second one. Select the rectangular pattern tool in the create section of the top menu. Select as mode pattern bodies to be able to repeat all the bodies we created. As direction the horizontal one and choose the body. Set the distance at 50 mm, which is enough to create two separate bodies. Step 3. Creation of the details. Now we need to characterize salt and pepper and we need to create the typical holes on the top of them. We create first a new plane. In the construction section of the top menu, select the offset plane and create a new plane parallel to the top one and distant 55 mm from this one. In this way we are going to draw exactly above our shapes. Start now a new sketch on this new plane and using the circle tool draw two circles for the salt and three circles for the pepper. A diameter of 3 mm is enough to make salt and pepper come out. Let's arrange the salt's hole in a sort of diagonal and the peppers in triangle. Keep the center of the body as reference to create the composition and in case you need move the holes to a better position. Now select the Extrude tool in the Create section of the top menu. Select all the five circles and make the extrusion go through the body. Make sure to set the operation to cut. Step 4. Creation of the bottoms. To be able to refill your salt and pepper set, we need to create two holes on the bottom of the bodies. Let's start a new sketch on the bottom and making sure to draw them in the center of each body, draw two circles of 15 mm of diameter. Select now the Extrude tool once again and create an extrusion that goes inside the bodies. Make sure to set once again the operation to cut. Step 5. Creation of the leads. Now that we can refill our set, we need a couple of leads to close the bottoms. Let's start a new sketch on the top plane again and draw two circles of 15 mm of diameter. We are using the same dimension of the holes. Now select once again the extrude tool and extrude the two circles of 5 mm, but this time set a taper angle of 15 degrees. We are doing this operation to be sure to make the leads fit into the holes. Anytime you need to assemble some elements together, you need to have some tolerance, which means that we cannot have a hole and a lead with the exact same dimension, but usually the lead must be a little bit smaller. Since the choice of tolerance is influenced by many factors like material and design, using the taper angle this time is a smart solution to be sure to make the lid fit into the hole even though we created the lid with the exact same dimension of the hole. 
the sloping surface of the lid is going to fit into the hole easily at first and then little by little is going to block the lid in the correct position. Step 6. Save your design and export your STL. Now that your set is ready, we save our project in Autodesk Fusion 360 Cloud. Select the saving icon and save your design. Once saved, the name of your project will appear at the top of the left menu. Right-click on the new name and select Save as STL to export your file for 3D printing. In the Export setting, select Highs as Refinement and then save your file. Now you only have to print your design and use it in your kitchen. You can print them in two different colors to be able also to distinguish them easily. For example, you can make salt white and pepper black, or be more creative and make them blue and yellow. Don't forget to upload your designs on your profile on kirakira.com to share your creations and be part of our creative community.